Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I wanted to talk about a couple things real quick. First, I want to showcase a new theme within Emulation Station for RetroPie. And then second, I want to talk about a new feature that is going to be implemented, which is going to be our game collections for Emulation Station and custom game collections. Pretty neat stuff. So I want to show the theme, and then I want to show you how this feature works and how you can utilize that when it's actually implemented and we all have easy access to it. So, let's go ahead, get this party started. Okay guys, so first up, we've got this new theme. This theme, is called Big Wood, and it is by James Durden. Pretty awesome theme. We're gonna take a look at it in a moment, but I wanna show you how you can get it first. What we're gonna need to do is go to RetroPie Setup. So we're gonna hit A on that and let that load up. Now once you're in here, you see I'm in version 4.2.17 as far as the RetroPie Setup script. That's where you're gonna wanna need to be at. If you're on a previous version that's not too old, you know, 14, 15, 16, shouldn't be too much you need to do. But first, you're going to want to make sure you update your RetroPie setup script. That's the main thing. From there, you're going to go to Manage Packages. And then in Manage Packages, Manage Core Packages. Here, I suggest just going ahead and install, update all core packages from Binary, and that should do it for you. You should be ready to go. Once that's done, you can go ahead and go back. And once you're all the way back, you will go to ES Themes. And then this is where you're going to download your themes, obviously. So you can go ahead and scroll down, keep on scrolling, and our newer themes should be toward the bottom. They're not always exactly at the bottom like you see right here. We got some big wood and it's right in the middle of all these new themes at the bottom. So you just got to kind of keep an eye out because sometimes they're not exactly all the way at the bottom, but they'll be there somewhere. So you might want to occasionally scroll through here and take a look. But there you go. You'll just go ahead and hit enter on that and it'll let you install. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now we're back into emulation station and we're going to take a real quick look at this theme so this is a pretty simple one it's very clean it's got a lot of wood so you got to be into that wood that wood look that's why she's called big wood but i think it's it's a pretty slick and clean theme very simple very nice looking not overly complicated and like i've stated before a lot of people love that some people don't want the crazy, you know, you got artwork covering the whole screen, you, you know, fancy transition looking stuff. You know, some people don't want that. Some people don't want to mess with attract mode. Some people don't want the flashy artwork, emulation station themes. Some people just want stuff like this that's simple, but still stylish, still stylish and, and just clean. It just works for them. So this one, you're going to have all your systems nice big ass logo and I've pointed this out before but I do have my transition style to instant you can change it to fade or slide now if you change it to fade we'll go ahead and look at what fade looks like it'll fade in and out boom some people like that some people don't I don't I'm just being honest with you and then you have slide slide makes it transition over and that looks really great with this theme um, for some themes like I said I use instant just because it works um, for me the the vertical scrolling themes instant works really well on here it, it you know it's just boom 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 there's no real transition other than the systems change and you know some people might like that you still get you know right behind me it has the the games available the the number of games for each system 
So it's still going to work clean, but some people, myself included, for this particular theme, I think slide looks really, really good as far as transitioning between the systems. So I just wanted to point that out. That is an option that you can utilize to customize your, your image a little bit for how things work. Bam, little tip from me to you. You know, most people know that, but some people kind of overlook it and it's there. So once we go into our systems here, we do have, we do have video snap capability. So that is pretty cool. We get our, our, our logo, you know, like our wheel art type stuff at the top, looking good, looking good system logo right underneath everything you kind of get that that wood you know it's big wood that's it's what it is big wood for a reason um the font is like a woody font it's a big wood font i don't know what the font name is i haven't checked in the um in the actual files yet but it does look pretty neat um the way it's all situated kind of looks like the the names are etched into the wood like it's burned burned into the wood grain behind it which i think is pretty neat but yeah you get your video snaps your logos up above it, it, it looks really awesome looks really awesome in my opinion like i said not every theme is going to be for everyone taste is subjective when it comes to the style but i think this one is pretty neat and i think a lot of people are going to dig it a lot of people and it, it surprises me but it doesn't surprise me because i'm a big fan of a lot of the the flashier looking themes like retrorama and stuff like that that has a lot of art going on and a lot of people are a fan of that but at the same time if not more so there's people who would prefer something like this that's fairly simple but still has a neat style to it some people just just like that and i, I dig it as well um and some of these themes i'm kind of floating through them i can never decide and these guys are doing awesome work and i really appreciate what they're doing so next we're going to go ahead and look at doing our game collections this theme supports it and so do a lot of other themes that are new but i'm going to go ahead and transition over to showcase and talk about that for a moment so let's go ahead and take a look okay guys so we're back in the showcase at the moment i thought it would be you know fitting to use showcase to showcase a new feature that's going to be available pretty soon but as you can see, I have a custom collection behind me. Pretty unique and neat stuff, but there's gonna be a few different options and ways of going about doing this. So I'm gonna point this out right now. Custom collection, we're gonna go, go ahead and go in there. So I have two custom collections at the moment that have already been pre-set up while I was messing around. So Disney, I have a few games in there, and you'll notice um, when you have these folders set up, Depending upon if the first game in that list has a video, it'll play that video on the outside of this. If there's no video, it'll just play whatever the default no video image is, usually static. Um, and then I have one just called Awesomeness for the hell of it that I set up. Has a couple Virtual Boy games in there, so I don't know if you really want to consider that awesome. But the way this works, for example, Disney, that is a custom collection and showcase because showcase doesn't actually have a theme for Disney not at least on the version that I have but Disney came from the Big Wood theme that we just talked about a moment ago so Big Wood has Disney integrated as a, a custom collection a game collection within the theme so they're already set up for it now this theme doesn't have it so it just becomes a custom collection that's not themed other than the name of the folder you you have then, for example, Awesomeness is just a custom collection I created and I named. So the way that's going to work is, since Disney's not in this theme, it just gets ported to custom collections. But you have a couple options with that. So you'll press start, go to game collections. Now here's, here's a couple things that you can do. If you go to group unthemed custom collections and you have that on, you're going to get this type of thing. Custom collections, you don't have all your folders set up pretty neat if you turn that off I'll, I'll show you right now it's just gonna it's just gonna go to it's just gonna go to a blank space that just says Disney 
within the theme and it's going to make things look kind of kind of messed up um, so you kind of want to keep them grouped you want to keep that on and I'm just going to show you real quick if I can find it should be up here yeah as you see Disney there's there's nothing there so we kind of don't want to do that we want to go ahead and keep that on to keep it clean looking anyway so then the other things you can do from here is obviously automatic game collections is a feature that we've recently gotten and have used all games favorites last played pretty awesome stuff not going to go over that here custom game collections once you set up collections they will be in here and you can turn them on and off so right now i have awesomeness and disney which are both custom themes that are not supported by showcase and then we have castlevania that i already set up which is a showcase collection so it has to be a collection that's supported within that theme to have its own artwork and everything set up for it so you're just going to have to look at that but the way you can look at that is you you have a couple options when you're setting up your collections so create new custom collection from the theme if you hit a on that it's going to list out everything that's in the theme folder within showcase or whatever theme you're using so as you see we have our systems and then we'll have some custom themes batman capcom we'll, you know however whoever created it decided that's how it's going to be so final fantasy we'll go ahead and do a final fantasy collection so you go ahead and hit a it'll take a moment to load up into editing mode so now we're in editing mode and what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your whatever system you know your game that you're looking for you don't have to put every dang game in there you can just grab your favorites or, or whatever just slowly work at it over time to create the collection and i'll show you how you can do that in a moment once you're done editing but you'll see behind me it's the y button if you have the help thing on the help option that shows you what the buttons do y behind me says final fantasy because that's what we're editing right now normally it would say favorites if you're within a game list so we're editing now so we're going to look for final fantasy games obviously you could press select and then jump to letter and just easily go find your games so i already know there's you know a handful of final fantasy games that are not even actually final fantasy games final fantasy adventures actually you know the first secret of mana and the legend games are the first uh, saga games but they were branded final fantasy but that's beside the point that's not a history lesson so while we're in here we're gonna press y on final fantasy adventure and you see boom over there somewhere uh, yeah up there we added it final fantasy legend 2 boom pressed y we added it why we added it why we added it so if we were just done right there what we would do is press select go down to finish editing whatever the name of the collection is we're doing final fantasy and hit a and now it goes back to normal we're done editing why change back the favorites doesn't say final fantasy anymore we're not in editing mode so we're good to go so now we can go ahead and go back to our collection final fantasy and you see those games that we added they are in there pretty awesome stuff now you know if you just go back and you go back to game collections and you're like okay i don't know how i want to add more games what the heck's up with that bro what the heck no you're not going to go there it's just showing this because it's not you know the game collections are not supported yet but they're going to be supported so don't don't trip on that um what you're going to want to do within your collection with your games just hit select and now you can go back and add and remove games to this collection you would hit a i'm like you know what i don't want final fantasy adventure up in there press the y button it removes it easy peasy press the y uh, the select button again finish editing press a we're done pretty simple stuff okay so now that we set that up if you want to do your own custom game collection the way you're going to go about that it's going to be very similar it's just going to be a different option go to game collection settings and now instead of collection from theme which are the ones that are supported we're going to just go to create new custom collection and that like i said if we have the group unthemed custom collections on it's going to group them all into folders into the the custom collection uh, wheel that we have there 
So we'll go ahead and go there and it's going to prompt us to create a name for it. So for example, if you wanted to do, you know, SNES classic, oops, misspelling like a mofo, bam, now we created a collection name SNES classic. So now it's going to put us into editing mode, just like the other. And we'll go ahead and look for Super Nintendo. We'll just add a couple random games, but you could just add like the games that are going to be in the Super Nintendo Classic if you so chose, which is, you know, pretty cool that you can set up collections any which way you want. So bam, there we go. You see behind me Y it says SNES Classic. So we can just start adding games with the Y button. Boom. We want some three ninjas kicked back. Uh. So now we're done. We press select, finished editing, press the A button. Now we're back into normal mode. If you wanted to edit it again, you would go within that, that collection. You see, if we press select here, we're in Super Nintendo. We're not in our actual collection. So it's not going to allow us to edit it. So we're going to want to go back down and find our custom collections. And go into there and you see we have our three custom collections that were set up the one i did previously then the one from bigwood and then our new one so snes classic if i want to edit that collection just press select within that collection go down to add or remove games bam there you go you'll be back in the editing mode so i think this is going to be a pretty cool feature that a lot of people are going to want to use and utilize to really customize their experience and their image for themselves I can't wait, can't wait to hear what people are doing with this. Can't wait to see all these themes that are going to start piling out and, and getting updated or new themes. It, it's just, it's pretty awesome to look at. So appreciate James Durden putting out the, uh, the Bigwood theme and showing me how to get this game collection thing going to kind of showcase that for you guys. So really appreciate that, dude. Two thumbs up. Smash that like button for me, guys. Really would appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will catch you guys next time. Boom. And maybe another. Boom.